Welcome to a presentation about the English Hubs program. My name's Rachel Davis and I'm the strategic lead for the Little Sutton English Hub. And I'll be joined today by Vicky Sewardson, who's the English Hub lead. We're going to talk to you about what's on offer from the program and how schools can access support. There are 32 English Hubs and these were designated in 2018 and a further two gained status in 2019. There are four English Hubs in the West Midlands and Little Sutton English Hub is based at Little Sutton Primary School and supports schools across Birmingham and the surrounding local districts. The English Hubs have three key priorities. These are supporting schools to deliver effective teaching of phonics and early reading, this incorporates ensuring fidelity to a systematic synthetic programme for teaching phonics. Ensuring that schools use fully decodable books which enable children to apply their phonic knowledge when learning to read and having effective assessment systems in place to ensure that pupils do not fall behind. We also support schools in how to keep children up and when they fall behind how to employ effective strategies to enable them to catch up. The second priority is early language development. This is born out of the well-publicised word gap that exists between children when they start school. The third priority is encouraging a love of reading. The key focus of the programme to date has been on phonics, with a secondary focus on supporting children's recovery following the pandemic. Phonics continues to be the primary focus due to loss of learning. The DfE have demonstrated the importance of reading by putting in place the English Hubs programme. And as we know, every Ofsted inspection will include a deep dive in reading. So a key statement from the handbook about reading is that the school is determined that every pupil will learn to read, regardless of their background, needs or abilities. All pupils, including the weakest readers, make sufficient progress to meet or exceed age-related expectations. So why is reading so important? Well, the future of children is quite literally in our hands. Now, this is a really dramatic statement, I know, but it's absolutely true. So what we're going to be giving to children is that real gift of reading. So why is reading so important? Research clearly shows that by the age of six, there's a strong correlation between reading and academic success. Dr. Louisa Mowit, the author of many influential papers, articles about literacy, says that reading failure begins early and takes root quickly. 85% of the curriculum requires a child to be able to read and children should progress from learning to read to reading to learn because it's the gateway to learning other subjects. Fluent readers can learn more because they can gain knowledge for themselves. Children will struggle if they can't read well. So when a child goes to secondary school, life will become very hard if they can't read well by the end of their primary years. And this can manifest itself in behavior problems. Research shows that it impacts on future job prospects and ultimately life chances. So as you can see, their future is quite literally in our hands. The English Hub programme is designed to help schools to teach reading well. So how can you get involved and see what's on offer? Vicky Hewitson's going to explain that now. This diagram shows the journey that schools take as part of the programme. Schools can get involved in the Hub through the referral from the national leader or from a local partner, such as a local authority, or they can self-refer. It's certainly worth you getting involved with the English Hubs, as we're able to give funding to schools for reading and phonics, which we'll explain in a bit more detail shortly. In addition, there is no charge to attend any of the English Hub events. So the first step is coming to a showcase. That way you can then access the medium level support, which includes lots of events and webinars. And some schools can then have the opportunity to become partner schools and receive more intensive support. So how does this work in reality? Showcases. So as I said, this is your entry point for schools. 
All schools are welcome to attend a phonics showcase to explore best practice in the teaching of systematic synthetic phonics and early reading. There's no charge for the event and following attendance, schools will have access to a wide range of training and opportunities at no cost. There is a requirement that the head teacher will attend that showcase. So during the showcase, you will get an opportunity to walk around the school and have a, um, a learning walk to look at good practice in action. Um, and clear guidance will be given to help schools understand what phonics and early reading looks like. The showcase is an opportunity to see this in action and find out more about what the Herb has to offer. We've got a number of showcases planned for, throughout the course of the year, and here are the dates. Schools can apply by going to our website um, and that will take you to Eventbrite where you can book on. So have a look at the dates that are here and um, access those, the booking system through our website. Medium level support. So once you've attended a showcase, there are lots of opportunities for training and information to help your school. This is called medium level support and it includes regular information, help with writing a school action plan, Hub specialists can come and visit your school and undertake a detailed audit. The Hub is also able to offer financial support to schools to help with buying training and resources. This is up to £3,000 for most schools, as long as they can match fund it, and can be up to £6,000 for schools who meet specific criteria. We have a programme of training events and webinars which will be developed throughout the course of the year. So here are some of the really exciting upcoming events that we have. Um, organized for the year. So if you, if you would like to attend any of these, please visit our website and you can book on in the same way that you do for the showcases and it will, through the Eventbrite link. Bespoke training. We also deliver bespoke training for groups of schools such as trusts and academies or consortiums and we can come along and do, deliver a presentation around the principles of effective phonics. Please do get in touch with the Hub if you'd like to discuss this further. And we will be developing our programme of events throughout the course of the year, so do look out on our website and our regular newsletters to find out more. Intensive support. So if you become a partner school, you will be offered intensive support. The aim is to increase the number of pupils achieving the expected standard in the phonics screening check. At the moment, we have 27 partner schools working with the Hub receiving intensive support. But we do expect that 22 of those will graduate from the programme in July 2022. So we are really busy at the moment recruiting for partner schools to start their intensive support in September 2022. So if you think your school would be eligible and would benefit from this, please do come along to the showcase. As I said, that's your entry point for getting involved. There is a set of criteria which the DfE have issued, which is for our target schools for the intensive support. So in order to become a partner school, you must meet at least two of the following criteria. And that's having a lower than average percentage of pupils meeting the standards in the phonics screening check, a higher than average proportion of pupils reading below age related expectations, a higher than average proportion of children eligible for pupil premium, an offset judgment of requires improvement or inadequate, and a high proportion of groups considered to be hard to reach, and schools referred by local partners. So in order to become a partner school, you need to meet just two of those criteria. So what's an offer for the partner schools? What do you get? You get a, an offer which is up to nine days of literacy, literacy specialist support over two years. So they will come and spend the whole day with your team um, working around your phonics and early reading practice. You'll get close support and monitoring from the whole hub team. And as I mentioned earlier, you'll get funding for training and resources. When we work with schools, we aim to empower your leaders so that improvements are sustainable. So you may have seen this quote before, leadership is about making others better as a result of your presence and making sure that your impact lasts in your absence. Schools being supported by the programme must use one of the SSP programmes on the DfE validated list. 
The validated list will be updated in autumn 2021. And again, the final list will be published in spring 2022. The current list comprises Bug Club Phonics, Essential Letters and Sounds, Floppies Phonics, Jolly Phonics, Letterland, Little Wandle Letters and Sounds Revised, No Nonsense Phonics, Phonics International, Read Writing, Reading Planet Rocket Phonics, Sound Discovery, Sounds Together, Sounds Right, and Success for All Phonics. In the case of Letters and Sounds, schools may be already be aware that the 2007 Letters and Sounds framework will no longer be validated from spring 2022. Schools can continue to use Letters and Sounds. However, if you do work with the Hub, we can only provide funding for validated programmes. There are now programmes that are validated which are based on Letters and Sounds, as you can see. When considering a validated SSP, schools should consider the full range of validated programmes before deciding what will best support their children's rapid progress in reading. Schools should con commit to teaching their chosen programme with fidelity. They must not invest in programme materials without having had or already arranged to have appropriate related training. And it's really important that schools understand the financial commitment of adopting an SSP programme and commit to funding this independently following their time in the English Hubs programme. We hope you found this presentation informative. Please do get in touch if you'd like any further help or information and visit our website to book on for our events. Thank you.